Yo, what's up guys, I'm back, got a review here. This time we have my first hero of the year. It is going to be Carlitos Tevez. Now, on stats, he's four star skills, three star weak foot. Now, on playstyles, he's got Relentless Plus, which is actually quite nice for the start of the game. Got Power Shot, got Technical, he's got Quick Step. Now, on stats, obviously, he's got the 85 pace, 89 shooting, got the 80 passing, 86 dribbling, and the 89 physicals. Obviously, it's a very nice well rounded card. Now, me personally, I played him in a couple of different roles. So obviously, I'm trying to experiment in the start of the game. I played him as a mainly as a shadow striker, as a cam. I'll show you the team in a minute. And obviously, played him as a striker in a few of the other games. But mainly as a shadow striker, so I wanted to see what it was like with Tevez. This is the team I used him. Obviously, it's a really nice team overall. He played just behind Haaland, which was really nice. Now, if you want a little sneak peek into the reviews I'm doing soon, look on the reserves there. I'm not going to say any more than that. But other than that, this Tevez is going to be a really nice card overall. But, I've got nothing more to say, if you do enjoy the video, please do subscribe, 98% of people that watch the videos are not subscribed, so if you could, that would mean a lot to my channel, and I'll see you after positive and negatives, peace. So on to my other thoughts about Tevez. Now kicking off for me straight away is going to be the four star skills, three star weak foot. Now the four star skills are obviously really, really nice. Tevez is not particularly unagile. He's not the most agile of cards. Obviously he's got the technicals that massively help him. But for me personally, the four star skills are obviously quite nice. He can do some nice little skills. Obviously get like McGeady's off and that. And he's very, very strong. So we won't get pushed off when doing these skills nicely. Now the three star weak foot for me, I actually didn't even feel that bad in game. Now maybe because keepers are a little bit worse to start the game. But... Overall, I was having a lot of shots as left. Obviously, the odd one or two would be very, very inconsistent. But as a general rule of it, I didn't see that many that were really off-brand considering the strong foot to weak foot ratio. It didn't really feel that bad. So overall, both foots are actually quite dependable. 
Now, the pace me, he's not really the fastest of the card. Obviously, I've been abusing that L1 sprint thing where he's just absolutely burst from. Like, since he's got quick step as well, he's absolutely OP. You've seen it in some of these clips. He just absolutely accelerates through the gap, so it's just stupidly good. But on pace overall, obviously, he's very, very fast to get going with the quick step, but he will get caught up to massively. This is why I had him as a shadow striker because he's not really like a poach like Haaland is on the roll. So, this is why he came a little bit behind and it's a little bit slow. That's why he's here. Now, the shooting for me overall, really, really consistent. I did really like shooting. Obviously, you've got the power shot uh, normal, which I didn't really use that often. But I imagine be really, really good with that shot power. Obviously, got great finishing as well. Got great long shots if you wanted to try a few out. Obviously, I imagine his travellers were really, really good as well. And overall, he's a very, very deadly call in terms of shooting. Now, the passing me overall, although not great on actual attribute stats, the individual ones, like the vision, like the short pass, is quite good. This is why I didn't think he was that bad of a second striker to Haaland. Now, what I mean by second striker, obviously he's playing camp, but as a shadow striker, you're pretty much just a second striker, really. Like a false nine kind of thing. So that's why I think it was really, really good. He was always in the right position at the right time to use that pass or maybe to use that shot. It was really, really consistent, but the passing I would only keep... To very, very simple stuff. Obviously, you can do through balls stuff like that. But overall, I wouldn't really recommend doing a long, long passes. Now, like I mentioned, the dribbling actually isn't that bad. That technical definitely does help him massively. He is only 5'7", so you don't expect it to be clunky at all. But for a man that's quite got, like, got like, more like a stockier build, he is a little bit, not unagile, but he's not really like a Phil Phone kind of agile. But he'll still be able to twist and turn these defenders nicely. And if he can't, he'll definitely just use that strength nicely. But in other attributes... Ball just nice, composure's really nice. The actual reactions itself are really good on this card overall. Now, physicality for me is one of his main suits. Obviously, he's got really, really good stamina, which I think is perfect. Obviously, you want the relentless plus as well, which pretty much means that he's not really going to run out, even if it goes 120 minutes and some maybe. But like overall, he's just going to be running the whole game, whether he's a striker, whether he's a cam, it doesn't matter. He'll be there, and obviously, that relentless plus will help him massively. Now, strength for me is one of his best attributes. He's very, very strong card. It takes ages to push him off the ball, which is really nice, especially since he has a good balance and strength combo as well. So overall, that's really, really nice. So on to my other scores. Now, if you don't know how the same works, I rank each individual stat a score out of 10, and I also give him an overall score and a value for coins, just so we get a little more detail on the card. Now, first me is going to be the pace. Now, over for the pace, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's not slow, don't get me wrong at all. It's not particularly the fastest. You're not going to go, oh my god, Terrence is like Vinny level fast. He's not. But with the L1 dribbling at the minute, he is going to look really, really fast for that quick step plus, no, quick step normal, sorry, and that acceleration. He's going to be a really nice card to get going. But obviously, like I mentioned, he'll get caught up to that sprint speed. Now, next up for me is the shooting. Now, over for the shooting, I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a, 8.5 out of 10. It's very, very close to a 9 out of 10. I'm only getting an 8.5 purely because I did wish he had a finesse normal or maybe a 4 star. But like I mentioned, the weak foot isn't that bad. But the all consistent shots, like I did say, are not really the greatest overall. So you do need to be careful of them. Now, the passing for me overall, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. They're not consistently bad at all. It's just they're not consistently great either. He can do some simple stuff like the um, incisive passes like that. But... If he had like a passing playstyle as a cam, I would think it's even better. But overall, he's still not bad at it. Now, the dueling for me overall, I'm going to give it 8.5 out of 10. Honestly, not that bad at all. I know he's got 82 agility, but that technical helps him massively. His height helps him. He's a very, very nice agile card overall. And Cassini is very, very strong. He's not going to be the most easy card to push off the ball ever. Now... Talking of the strength attributes, obviously, really, really strong card. Aggression is mental. He's really good on the stamina front, but he's obviously not going to be an aerial threat by any means, being small and obviously low jumping. So for me, for the physicals, I'm going to give him a 9.5 out of 10. A very, very bulldog-like approach, which is what a lot of people class Terrell as, as a real-life player. Really, really strong and a really, really aggressive player. Which I do particularly like, especially for a second striker. It just means you can hold up the ball a few seconds longer to maybe pass it to someone else. Or maybe slot your poacher plus striker in instead. But, the big question is, would I prefer him as a striker or as a cam? To be honest, I think it's about even both ways. I think he's a great in both guards. He's got really nice attributes in both senses. Obviously, maybe overall a little bit better as a striker. But, with that being said, he's still a really good second striker. So, over score for me then, I'm going to give him, I'm going to give him a 9.3 out of 10. A, definitely a very consistent card for the start of the game. One of the better heroes I'm going to use for the start, I reckon. He's just a very, very nice, well-rounded one. Obviously, got a lot of nice playstyles, a lot of nice stats. 
So, overall score, a value of coins for me. I'm going to give the value of coins a... I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. He is 500k, which I feel is a few better cards out there for 500k. But if you do like City, West Ham, United or anything like that, he's definitely a fun card to use. And obviously a few nice stats around the board, which is really good to have at the start of the game. But that's all for my review. As always, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do subscribe. Like I said, it really does mean a lot to my channel. Now, if you want to see any reviews in particular, let me know down in the comments down below. Obviously, I try and get around to doing that if best as possible. But... I've got nothing more to say, so I'll see you in the next review, and peace out, guys.